Hello everybody, um, guys, gals, whoever's out there. Um, I was waiting on a deck to arrive today and it arrived. Um, so I've gone through the cards, um, not in any great detail yet. Um, but um, I thought as it's still the weekend when I have most of my time to myself, um, I will show you them. So it is the I just said the name, and now I'm looking at it to try and say it again, and I'm like, uh Etruscan. Etruscan Tarot. Here we are, by Los Scarabio. Uh, it's fabulous condition that it's come in. Um, I think it's been opened and then put back in the box. Um, now, the reason I bought this deck, not that that's of any matter really, I guess, but the reason I bought it is because um, I have this one. Um, and I wanted that one because, if I'm not mistaken, they're by the same uh, people. Ooh, yes, I do give that up. Let me have a look. Should tell me on this. Yeah, Sylvana and Ricardo. Yes. So that's why I bought it, to be honest, because I was so in love with that one. I thought, do you know what? I kind of like this. Um, I like the. Um, I like the sparseness of the decks, um, mirrored with the history of the decks. Um, it's a low scarabio, so you get a little book, um, and has the five different languages in it, um, which is good because not everybody speaks English. Uh, but yeah, so up to page 14 that's your lot but I think we've we've come to expect that now from Los Gabion um you know some of them are bigger like uh, my Tarot Mucha has a little bit more information that's more of a little book than a white book but you know whatever um but I did enjoy uh reading it it tells you more about uh, the Etruscans um they lived uh in the ancient Italy before the power of Rome um and they were engulfed um and they kind of came one according to the book so yeah um <clears throat> i saw a couple of images before i bought the deck um but not many um and that's how i like it you know i see a couple and i'm like oh i like that so yeah i'm gonna show you some um i'll give you a sorry for the weird angle and everything today i normally sit on my uh, buffet um but my back hurts so i'm sat on my cushion <laughs> So this is the back of the card, so it's an orange colour with a white motif. Um, yeah, so it's good, sorry, I was looking at the front of the card there. Um, and this is the kind of artwork you're going to get. This is the Lord of Chalices. So again, it's been kept very much in line with um, the... Um, the drawings on the walls, and uh, as it were, of the people. And that's what I like, that's that's what I really like, you know. That's why I'm considering getting um, some of the Mayan decks that are out there because I think um, it's just fabulous to have that as well. Um, again, you've got broken bits in there to show how old it is, which is kind of cool with the white there, so it's not a complete image. Uh, this is the magician. Some of them are great. You can really see the um, the imagery to uh, the Rider Waite Smith system. Some of them not so. Um, like I said, I haven't, I haven't actually read the whole book, so um, I don't know if that's the route we're going down with these. Sorry, the phone is ringing. The dog will go nuts. Um, there is nudity in this deck, um, but as it's kind of like drawings on a wall, I don't find it. Uh, I don't find it obtrusive or anything. Although there is a lot of male members um, in this deck, so um, I'll see if I can find a few for you. So you can ogle. I mean, see. Um, if you're not bothered by it, then don't worry too much. But there is an awful lot. Here we go. So, got a naked man carrying a sheep. You can't really see anything there. That's a good card, I'll show you that. Oh, they're all over the place. Sorry, even the horse's member is visible in this card. He's a male horse. <laughs> Got two men wrestling. Uh, 
Uh, this appears that a woman is pleading with a man in the Three of Swords. Don't know why it has to be the woman pleading, but there you go. Could be something to do with their history, eh? But there you go. Uh, there's a man out hunting here. I, I imagine, you know, they were naked. If it was so hot and, you know. Why not? It's a culture gone by, isn't it? You know, it was okay to be naked. Not so much now. But to be fair, I live in England. I am not getting anything out for anyone. So yeah, so that's the kind of feel of the cards you're going to get. Um, like the imagery on them, uh, I think is absolutely fabulous. So yeah, I got five of wands. This is the eight of chalices. Fabulous. Four of Wands. Uh, the Pentacle suit I really enjoy. I think it's absolutely beautiful. So yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to it. I mean, lately obviously I've been buying an awful lot of decks, so you know, I've got a lot to be getting on with. But you know, some I buy because I want to collect them, some I buy because I want to read them. And I think these are definitely going to be a deck that I want to read with. Um, I haven't uh, haven't decided. Um, I did a reading for, um, can I say client? I did a reading for a client yesterday um, with the uh, Nefertari's Tarot. Um, I say Nefertiti's. I know it's not spelled that way or anything, but my phone recognises Nefertiti, not Nefertari, so it's like Nefertiti. <laughs> and that that was beautiful. Uh, and I'm hoping to get the same kind of beautiful um, consistency with this deck as well. Um, I know the, it's more to say with the reader, perhaps, than the actual deck, but I think given the right tools, it can always be very helpful. Um, yeah, this is Justice, this is fabulous, this one. So with this deck, uh, very much like the other deck, it's I, it's going to just um, open up a wide spectrum for me to learn a bit more about these people, um, which I love to do, I love to learn, um, and if it can help me um, get a deeper understanding for things than, you know, I already have, then bring it on. So i just leave you with a couple more cards. Sorry if this has seemed like a, a rushed video, but, you know, I don't want to clog up the internet. Yeah. Right, I leave you with one more. So, I got this for £15, including delivery on eBay. Um, I don't know how much they normally sell for. I think I saw them on Amazon for 30 so... Uh, I don't know what they're worth, but for me, I thought fifteen pounds was pretty good. They're in, like I said, they're in fantastic condition. I don't think they've ever been used. Um, they haven't even been shuffled, as far as I can tell, because they came in order. Um, so yeah, I am pleased. Um, if anyone has this deck, um, I'd love to hear your thoughts on it, or you know, your just general thoughts from the video. To be honest, sorry, being really impatient and trying to put them back in the box while I'm on the phone. Oh, on the phone. Do you know, I think I'm just going to have to stop shooting videos today because my words they are, yeah, they're no good. But yeah, so, very good. So, what is it, Ricardo Minetti and Silvia Alicia. So, fair shout to them. They've done a fantastic job and I, for one, am looking forward to using them. So, thank you very much for um, stopping by. It was only a short video. Um, but hey, sometimes they are. <laughs> Have um, a wonderful rest of the weekend and I will see you soon.